Hello, Bucks fans. Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. And today, video, I want to talk about linebacker KJ Britt for the Buccaneers. He, you know, stepped in, uh, you know, midway through the season last year and really played well um, as the starting linebacker, you know, it, you know, next to Levante David and it really took a step forward. I thought his game has gotten better each season. He's he's been with the team. Uh, he's been here since 2021 now going into 2024 into his fourth season only 24 years old so still very young uh, as far as a player goes and he keeps getting better i think his understanding of the scheme has really uh made his play uh much faster and it improved overall um and you just look at the numbers here um he only had 13 solo tackles last year but you look at the game the last game he played in against Detroit Lions had a pretty good one where he had 12 tackles he had five solo tackles and five assists but 12 total tackles in that game and really just he played well down the stretch again big game for him against Atlanta and a key victory there with eight tackles um, but the main thing you saw with KJ Britt is just consistency uh, ability to you know, be in his spot as far as what is asked of him from the defense. Uh, he showed good, you know, authority coming downhill, making plays, making plays in the gaps uh, and, and being a very solid tackler um, throughout his his tenure as a starter, um, you know, over the last half of the season from from last year. So he is in a very good position and it seems like the coaches and front office are definitely talking very high of him. Now he's going to have competition with Servasier Dennis and JJ Russell. As you see the, the Buccaneers step chart here, you know, KJ's penciled in as a starter. Currently you got JJ and Servasier behind him in which they will definitely challenge there. It remains to be seen if the Buccaneers will add a linebacker, um, you know, in the next couple of months, whether that's the draft or maybe in free agency. But right now they feel very confident in what KJ can do as as far as what he showed them last season and just evolution of as a player and, and the steps that he's taken to get better, to play faster. Um, coming out again, he wasn't really looked at as far as a every down linebacker because he was more of that old school thumper come downhill and and hit you in the mouth but he's really taken a step forward in his zone drops getting back into coverage understanding you know where he's supposed to be assignment sound and that has really elevated his game to another level and you know, definitely making the case to be an every down linebacker and a starter in this league as someone that you know you can count on and and someone that can be reliable. Um, with that said, I want to turn things over to Coach Todd Bowles. He really talked about how KJ has definitely taken a step forward and, and talks about how speed isn't everything uh, when it comes to the linebacker position. Well, and we're not running a 40, so he's, he's a football player. You got to get around them to use your speed. KJ, what he lacks. Uh, in the two steps in the speed department, he makes up for being in the right place and understanding the game. So you can play fast and not be fast, and you can be fast and not play fast. So KJ is one of those guys that not very fast, but he plays fast. So we're comfortable with that. Right. So, again, that's a great point by Todd Bowles, just talking about how KJ is in the right spots and doesn't have to be fast to play fast. And I think – that was kind of a correlation with, you know, what we had in Devin White. And obviously Devin has moved on to the Philadelphia Eagles. Devin was, you know, super athletic, but at times, sometimes his speed kind of hurt him because he was either a overrunning plays or not being in the right spot, not being consistent from a assignments uh, standpoint. And that kind of hurt the defense at times. And now you have KJ who has been, you know, a very, you know, coachable player, a guy that has come on and really learned this defense and it really has become a leader um, among the locker room, really respected among his peers and has done things the right way. And you like to see his growth continue and get better as we move forward here. 
Um, and again, this is not saying KJ is going to be the guy moving forward. I mean, there's still, you still have to look at Servassier. You still have to look at maybe JJ Russell. Um, there's always a chance that they could draft someone uh, to bring in and, and maybe be eventually the guy. Uh, but KJ has definitely put himself in a position where he has an opportunity to fill a, a starting role and, and be, you know, a guy that they can count on. And it seems they have a lot of confidence in KJ Britt. So with that said, let us know what you guys think. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, and, and what's your thoughts on as far as the linebacker position? Do you feel comfortable with KJ Britt being the starter? Or do you see the Buccaneers going out and maybe getting someone else? Or will it be one of the other guys that were mentioned, whether it's Servassier or J.J. Russell? Let us know what you guys think. And with that said, until the next one.